Yeah. All right, so we're going to have a little bit of fun right here. We're going to test out the LeBron 19s, see what they're hitting for, whatever, get a few jumps off or whatever. Looks like they lowered the rim a little bit, man. This bitch used to be a little higher. They lowered it a little bit, but we're going to try to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I really want to jump a little higher, but we're going to see. Let's get it. I don't know if it's because of cool weather or because of rust, but man, I can't jump right now and shit. These right here, I don't know if it's the shoes. It feel like I got some bricks on my feet. Like these motherfuckers is pulling me back to earth. I can't get up at all in these things, but let's see. Let me warm up a little bit more and try it later. Yo, so had a chance to play in these bad boys. Well, just shoot around in the LeBron 19s. And after maybe about 35 minutes, but it was just continuous jumping and stuff. Like I did rush. I didn't uh I didn't stretch or anything. It was cold outside, so my legs were tight. They were heavy. So I'll give them a give them that. But other than that, it felt like I was jumping in ankle weights. That's how heavy these things are, man. Like I can see in the long run, if you a heavier player or something, like the cushion on these, like I was so high, I was, I felt like I was on platform shoes or something. Like I didn't feel, I didn't feel comfortable moving like laterally. And stuff like I did like a few dribbles. I didn't want to even dribble too much or try to run and stop or do anything like that. I felt like I would have stopped and would have bowled over or something. Like I did not feel stable in these. My feet, like as far as like hurting or something, I wouldn't say they hurt right now, but like they don't they don't feel the greatest in the world. I could see if I if I tried to hoop in these, like if I played three or four games in these. Oh my! They would be done. My feet would be done. Uh, I'm a big LeBron fan. Shay, I I'm, I probably might try to get them LeBron nines. I might try to get the South Coast. I don't think I'm gonna try to get them Big Bangs uh, too far there and stuff. Even though it probably would be a good uh, investment because two forty, they probably gonna go higher, be be worth three four hundred or something. So that would probably be a way better investment than the South Coast. But I, I might get the South Coast. I don't know. Let We'll see. But just because I don't have any nines. But I got the LeBron 7s, LeBron 8s, LeBron 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I got all of those. So I needed the 19s in the collection to keep the collection going. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it a bean. Keep it 100. Like, I see why LeBron doesn't play in them. I see like LeBron is a big dude. He probably about 260-something. Uh, six eight six nine, pure muscle and all this and that. Uh, physical specimen. I'm five six, like one forty something. Uh, like 
38 inch vertical maybe right now because my shit i don't think i'm in the 40s like i used to be in the high in mid 40s probably now i'm probably like 38 but uh yeah with these on i think my vertical might have been maybe 29 at the peak because this rim it wasn't as high as i remember it to be but it still was high because i could not get up in these like gravity was right when i get up gravity was pulling me down it was like the john mayer song gravity is working against me the grip on these things like you can you can see like the little nubs you can see it peeling a little bit like so i could imagine hooping in these like a lot like this this bottom will wear out very fast so this is for indoor purposes and stuff the air underneath it doesn't doesn't do too much i, f I think I, I went on a rent but what i was saying like being as far as like a big person or you know, hooping them in the long run i could see him like maybe being good on your knees because of this this big old air cell or something like as far as like coming down and cushioning your knees and stuff like that like as far as landing that might be positive but the feet and stuff, like, my pinky toe feels like it's been through the ringer. Uh, the the ankle collar area, it wasn't really digging in, in my foot or anything. But it wasn't, it wasn't the best ride in the world, man. It was not comfortable. I was uncomfortable jumping and stuff, like, planning my perpetual, per, perpendicular, whatever the step is whenever you go to, to make your step like I felt so uncomfortable doing that like these this is the worst hooping shoe I've ever put on like I might wear these for casual things if if I did if I wasn't a LeBron collector I would these things would be on eBay quick if if I wasn't keeping them just for the collection just to say oh I got some 19s I would get rid of these things so quick. Like these are just for for collection purposes. Because as far as like a hoop and shoe, and using these for uh for hooping and being being useful in in the in the field and stuff like that on the court. No. But that's my thoughts, man. Like I don't even want to give these a grade, cause like. These, like as far as hooping, these are up there with like shacks. And I think the, some of the old shacks would be like, I, I had some shacks back in the days. And I, the hoop gnosis is, and I hooped in those back in the days. And, and like I was a little more, more athletic. I was in high school and stuff. But uh, I still was jumping and stuff. But this big air unit, like the shacks, you're not that high and stuff. So this right here is just... A very uncomfortable ride. Maybe if I was heavy and I was squishing this down or something, it would feel a little better. I feel a little closer to the court. I did not feel closer to the court. I did not feel stable. I did not feel bouncy. Worst hoop and shoe. Worst hoop and shoe I ever, I ever tried. I hate to say that because LeBron is my dog. But I got to keep it real. Like, comment, subscribe. Computer Grids and the most hate. Peace.